Hey everybody, it's me Blanche and we got Mama Vera here and we are going to review falafel mixes. Wow. Yeah, so I got... My favorite food. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got a, a letter from, uh, actually a message from Emma. She leaves a lot of comments on our videos and I really appreciate her. And she said, can you test out falafel mixes? And you know, we, make, we make everything homemade. But there is a benefit to buying it ready-made. You save a lot of time and a lot of them don't have too many bad ingredients. So stay tuned guys. We are going to give you our opinion on these falafel mixes and how they rate next to the real thing. So mom, I got five different popular brands, okay? Mm -hmm. One is Ziad, and I've used, I use Ziad in a lot of my dishes. Yeah, I so, love their so I figure we can't do anything without Ziad. Okay. We've got uh, Tarazi, mm -hmm. Tarazi brand. Mm -hmm. We have Trader Joe's because let's face it, a lot of people go to Trader Joe's yeah. and this is easy to it's buy. Like where everybody goes shopping, yeah? Exactly. It's convenient. We've got Casbah in the house, mm -hmm. right here. Casbah in the house. And finally, <laughs> well, finally we've got, got Noor. <laughs> and now we have a uh, Noor falafel. I didn't know Noor made falafel. I didn't know that either. That's um, it's a surprise to me. They do uh, falafels. So what we did was, it's really simple, guys. I mean, all of these mixes have the same standard directions. You combine with water a certain amount, and you have to let it sit for at least, a lot of them say 10 minutes, I recommend half an hour because it'll give it some time, right? No, it does need half an hour. Some of them say 10 minutes. I think nor is 10 minutes. Yeah, That's some a of lot them say of them 10 minutes. Half an hour. Yeah. And you need to refrigerate it and keep it in the refrigerator, which is nothing, yeah. you know? And, and what's cool is when you make your own falafel, I mean, even when it's like this at home, uh, you can use the oil that you prefer. So we use yeah. avocado oil, which is the best kind of oil to fry it. It's really that simple. That's all you need. You need to yeah. just add water and you're good to go. Basically what it is, it's dehydrated garbanzo beans mm -hmm. that are being dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And they add some dehydrated parsley, some uh, flavorings, cumin, uh, dehydrated onions, garlic. So you got all of it. And when you add the water, you replenish the water. It's like you have it fresh. And right. Some of them don't have that much preservatives, which is excellent. Now I have an excellent recipe for this in my cookbook. And I also will link it up in the info card. Uh, if you want to make it completely from scratch, yeah. it's really simple. Well, it's not that tough. The homemade. Homemade, one. you get to use fresh herbs like yeah. parsley, which yeah. I really like, everything. and fresh garlic, everything. fresh everything. Yeah. Everything's fresh, right? But when you're when you are in a hurry, it's okay. It will yeah. do. I mean, so we use a falafel maker. You know those little gadgets. Mm -hmm. I'll also put a link in the description for a falafel uh, maker so uh, that it's you know easy. what. If you don't have it, you could still you know roll it by hand, drop yeah. it in the thing. We are going to play falafel surprise today. I mixed up all the brands, so we don't know what we're going to try. Okay. And I put the brands underneath each plate. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try it, and then we'll figure out. We'll t tell you about taste and texture. Okay. So we've got the first one here. Okay, let me see my glasses. This is exciting. Okay. I have no idea I what like we to, are going oops, to. I like to judge by my, really look at it close up. Well, so this one's kind of uh, pale inside. It doesn't have that much green. Mm. Yeah, you know, I would add more parsley to it, you know, if I were to make it. Mm. It's kind of dry. It's dry, but the flavor is it's really good though. It's good, I and mean, it's dry. The flavor is good, it's a mm -hmm. little bit dry. Mm -hmm. Probably put a little bit more onion with it. So add like some grated onion? Yeah, a little bit of grated onion, that will make it moist. Okay, so do you want to you want to find out which one it is? Mm -hmm. um, first, let's grate it. What, what would you get? Okay, okay. I have from one to 10. Mm -hmm. I would say if it wasn't for the dryness, I would give it a nine. Oh, wow. Maybe no, an eight, eight. eight. Yeah, I was gonna eight. say. Eight is good. I give it an eight. But yeah. you need to add more stuff to it. Yeah, you need so, to add a few things to it. Let's more see. cumin? Oh, more. this is uh, Tarazi. Tarazi. Tarazi, sorry, Tarazi. It's this brand right here. So that was number one. We are going to go to number two. Another trick when you're frying falafel is to put a little kind of hole in the middle. That way the oil will cook the inside. Cook the inside, you yes. know? So these are a little bit darker. They have darker. that trick in, in your link, you know, when yeah. you make it. These are a little bit darker, but I think it's the onions. But if you look at yeah. the inside of it, yeah. they're beautiful. They're golden. <laughs> nice golden color. Golden color. Mm -hmm. They look more moist. Mm -hmm. mm, they are more moist. Mm. These are very good. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I like them. I would add a little bit more cumin to it, definitely. But these are very good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised at how good mm -hmm. these taste, but considering these are, they're store-bought. You know, if I didn't know they were bought from, a, I mean, you made it from a box, I would think they were Ma made handmade. From, yeah. Yeah, not bad. It tastes good as is. You don't need, if you, if you ate it like this, it's not bad. Yeah, very good. So mm -hmm. we're going to find out. Oh, mm -hmm. Ziad. Mm -hmm. Ziad, Ziad knows what's up. They somehow mm. managed to make a mix that tastes great and is very moist. I would give it a nine. Nine as well, definitely a nine. I mean, yeah. though, I, I would say it's pretty much like homemade. You just have to add a little parsley. That's all, parsley and cumin. So yeah, Ziad and got it going on. You guys, you guys got it going on. You know how to do falafel. So let's try these. Okay. These are crispy on the outside. Yeah. The color is nice. The color is nice normal. As the yeah. The, the Ziad one. Mm. This cake tastes a little musty. Mm. Not so crazy about them. Not really crazy about these they're, at all. They're there. Not so, great flavor, very kind of musty. They're just there. No flavor the, whatsoever. The, the texture is weird too. It's a little kind of, yeah, it's mealy. It's a mealy texture. I, I don't get the nice chewy know. crunch that I got with the Ziad ones. They're, the other, the Ziad ones, I think the it's coarser, so it has more texture. Mm -hmm. This one is finer, so it's blah. Yeah. But there's no taste, there's no cumin, no nothing. It's just there. It's just a little tiny bit of heat, but this one I would mm -hmm. probably give a four or three. Yeah. Three. I would say four. No, four is Three good. or four, four. Okay, so the brand on this is the Casbah yes, brand. Casbah. Casbah's not rocking it, man. They're not rocking the Casbah with the uh, with the falafel. Let's go with the next one. This one. Oh, I like the color. This the one. color's really nice. Yeah, um, I can see a lot of parsley in it. I don't yeah. know, parsley or coriander. Good texture. A little bit more better texture than the first one than the Casbah. It's just a little bland. Bland. Each one needs more jalapeno or, mm -hmm. or a cumin. Mm -hmm. Cumin would, see, I don't know why they're scared with the cumin. With the cumin. Maybe. I think cumin adds so much. But I like the texture a lot of this one. So yeah, for texture, I would say uh, I give this about like a seven, mm -hmm. but but it's for six for me for flavor. So. No, it's it's seven. Like I said, you could always play with it. Okay. Add more cumin, and um, so it's seven is good. All right. Well, we've got one more. So let's let's look at this one. Okay. These are really golden and crispy. Yeah. They look golden. wow. I like the color. Wow. And it's very crunchy. Okay. Inside's looking pretty good. The texture, I already I see. It's not. It's more dry. What do you think? No, it's more. Um, like that, that it's not as coarse and it, it has to be coarse okay this one has more cumin mm -hmm. but it's lacking something it's lacking the onions maybe or yeah something. The, as far as texture and flavor i think this is pretty good it's definitely cumin no, I don't it's like a it little, little bit much. of heat i would give it a six really so you don't like this one as much mm -mm. let's see which one it is this one looks like it this is one's like trader joe's guys Mm. I'm really surprised my because least favorite. Tra my, it really is Trader Joe's your least mm -hmm. favorite. Trader Joe's. It has you an know. aftertaste like um, it's. I think they put too much baking soda. Oh, and it has. It's like um, bitter aftertaste. Can mm -hmm. you taste the baking? Yeah, a little soda? bit. I can see what you're talking about. Yeah. And um, does it? It has. Uh, it, the texture is is too fine, too refined. It and fools you with the golden exterior, like you're like, ah, oh, this is so amazing. And then you bite into it, you know, it's kind of a letdown. And finally, mom, yeah. these are our falafel. You want to take are. a look at what the real deal looks like? Yeah. Let me show you. The crunch is there. Ah, let's see. You see how green? Like we really like herbs. The parsley, the, the herbs. parsley. Oh my gosh, the sesame. The sesame seeds and everything. Mm. So that's a ton. <laughs> oh, the crunchiness. Mm-hmm. That's mm. awesome. This is a ton. Mm -mm. I mean, I hate to toot our own horn, but we've been doing this for a while. Mm-hmm. And it's not to say that these aren't good, but I mean, it's always not gonna 
tastes the same as homemade from scratch, right? Mm -hmm. It's like buying homemade banana bread versus making your own banana bread. But like I said, when you are in a hurry mm -hmm. and you, you get that urge, so far, Ziad is the winner. Yep, Ziad is the winner. Ziad is the winner, guys. So, thank you for joining us here on Feast in the Middle East. It was really fun to do this taste test. You know, we did hummus before. Now we did falafel. Perhaps people want to know about other Middle Eastern items on the market and they want our feedback. Let us know in the comments below. I mean, what did you think? What, I mean, did it exceed your expectations or To be honest with you, thoughts? I am really surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised because I did not, I always see them in the market and I'm mm -hmm. like, I just pass by them. I never consider buying, even consider buying it. But now that I have tasted it, I don't mind having stacked up when a couple of Ziad boxes for emergency. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think uh, store-bought falafel mix it's you, is better than store-bought hummus. Thank you, Mom, oh. for uh, testing this out. And yeah. thanks to you guys. Please like and subscribe to bring up the algorithm. And it'll really help us know that you want more content like this. And until next time, we will see you soon. And if you want to get my cookbook, it's at www.feastinthemiddleeast.com. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Bye. Ma salama. Ma salama. Chief al hal. Bye. Bye.